Welcome to Health Bulletin. We're exploring a topic that impacts millions of people around the world, migraines. If you've ever experienced one, you know that a migraine is way more than just a headache. It's that pounding, debilitating pain that makes you want to crawl into a dark room and stay there. But why do migraines hurt so much? Well, scientists may have just uncovered part of the mystery, and it's pretty fascinating. So, what's going on in our brains when we get a migraine? Researchers at the University of North Carolina have identified a key player, a protein called CGRP. During a migraine attack, CGRP levels spike, and we've known for a while that it's linked to pain. But the exact mechanism was unclear until now. Here's where it gets interesting. Think of your brain like a house with lots of rooms. The lymphatic system in your brain is like a network of pipes that drains away waste in cerebrospinal fluid. CGRP, it turns out, acts like a wrench that tightens these pipes, slowing down the flow of fluid. When researchers injected CGRP along with a traceable dye into the lymphatic vessels of the brain, they literally saw the drainage system slowing way down. And if you're thinking, well, that sounds bad, you're right. In fact, the study found that mice resistant to CGRP experience fewer migraines and were less sensitive to bright lights. This finding could be a game changer for how we treat migraines. Instead of just masking the pain, future treatments might target this CGRP plumbing problem directly. This discovery is particularly important because migraines are three to five times more common in women than in men. The researchers hypothesize that hormonal changes throughout a woman's life such as during puberty, pregnancy, and menopause, might affect how this brain lymphatic drainage system works, potentially explaining why women suffer from migraines more frequently. But that's not all. Did you know that Alzheimer's disease is twice as common in people with migraines? Some studies in mouse models have shown that disrupting the cerebrospinal fluid drainage can increase plaque formation in the brain, which is linked to Alzheimer's. So what does all of this mean? Well, this research opens up new avenues for developing more effective migraine treatments that don't just dull the pain, but actually address the underlying cause. But it also highlights the need for more research and awareness. Migraine isn't just a headache. It's a complex neurological condition that can have serious long-term effects on health. This is why supporting research is so crucial. Studies like this one bring us closer to understanding not only migraines, but potentially related conditions like Alzheimer's. We need to keep pushing for more funding and awareness so that a better treatments and maybe even a cure can be found. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Let's keep the conversation going. Drop a comment below about your experiences with migraines or what you think of this new research. See you in the next video.